This investigator portal tutorial video is geared towards the investigative users and what they see and what they're able to do with files. Now, these files can be documents, photos, videos, audio, whatever you give or whatever the administrator gives you access to as an investigative user. So I've gone into a case and I've opened this case file, I wanna view it, and let's say I wanna do something with files. I need to upload some documents or I need to upload my video. Click on files and then you're able to go between documents, photos, video, and audio on this file. So click on documents and any of these tabs, it's the same process. You can uh, look for what you're trying to find. You can view a document or view a video. You can also click on the add document or add button on any of these tabs to upload documents or videos or any other files that you may have obtained during the course of an investigation. I'm gonna show you the video as this is the most common utilized piece. A lot of investigators upload videos for surveillance and things like that. So I'm gonna walk you through the investigative process as far as how to upload video. Crosstrax has a unique feature that allows the date and timestamp to be automatically added as you upload your video. So you'd select the scheduled date, that's the date that you work the case that your manager or account administrator scheduled for you, so you'll pick that. Then you select the date the video was taken. Now these two could be different, just depends on how your investigations go. If you want the date and timestamp to be removed, click on Process Video. In this instance, it's already selected. If you want to merge all your clips together, then you would have the ability to do that. Most people merge the video once it's complete. So select the time zone, and then at this point, you would just drag and drop or add files by clicking the Add Files button. Add your video clips to this process, and once that's complete, you would be able to click Submit and start to upload your video. If you have audio files, you could upload those here, and same goes for photos. As an investigator, you're able to upload all of these items. You're also able to upload or view certain files that the administrator has given you permission to. If you do not see this files tab or you don't see certain information, that you feel like you should have available to you, contact your account administrator and let them know that your roles and access permissions may need to be adjusted. So there's certain restrictions that may be placed on your user account that may have not been set up properly or may not have been set up yet if you all are a new Crosstrax users. If you have any questions regarding this, please contact your administrator first and then they can possibly contact support if you all need any help. But that's how investigators are able to upload files and view files for their cases. So just to summarize, this is the investigator view when they log into Crosstrax. Any cases that are assigned to them will appear on the cases screen. They'll be able to go to a case, click on files, and then upload documents, photos, video, and audio. If you give them permission to, they'll also be able to view the documents or photos or files that are contained in each one of those sections.